Today we are looking at the inspirational style of Jacqueline Bouvier Kennedy Onassis. I was first directed towards her by my mum. Jacqueline Kennedy and my mum were of similar age and they actually died two days apart. <laughs> so quite often throughout Jacqueline Kennedy's life, my mum would reference her style. So she sort of brought her to my consciousness, I guess you could say. And I really have genuinely admired her style from afar. She was so elegant. She was just like no one that ever was before. I have put together a rail to go through the eight outfits with you today. And as I was putting it together, I just thought a lot of these are the items that I used last week with Audrey, Audrey Hepburn. And it's amazing that these classic items, they really do work hard. They do a lot of the heavy lifting in the wardrobe. What we call a capsule wardrobe today if you look back to the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and maybe 90s was when it changed, they just called it a wardrobe. Women didn't have as many clothes as what we have today, and yet they still managed to have this enduring style. So when you have really well curated pieces, they can do wonders for your wardrobe. So I do hope that you sit back, relax, and enjoy the style of Jacqueline Bouvier Kennedy Onassis. Jacqueline was unprecedented as a first lady. Her husband, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, was the youngest president at age 43. She was 31. So she has been the second youngest and arguably the most glamorous First Lady ever. She was educated, refined, elegant and captivating. When she got dressed up for state occasions, she turned heads. This look continues to inspire today. She retained her simple and elegant style even when she was dressed casually. The white comes through even in this black and white photo. The visual contrast between the white and everything else makes you notice the dress. She wore a lot of navy, black and white. She was rarely seen in red, so these pants are quite a standout for her. The whole look just works, is very striking and yet also attainable. The cropped length of the wider leg gives a very chic and casual vibe. Jackie wore this Gucci bag so often, the brand named it after her. She paired it with a style of trench coat and a scarf. I was fortunate enough to find a similar style in a consignment store. That took all my colours into a different direction from any colours she ever wore. But that is the whole point, to be inspired by her, not dictated to by her. My outfit is not a costume but a tribute. Jackie looks so amazing in this simple shift dress. The emphasis is on the legs, so the shape of the dress is very loose. She could be going anywhere for all we know. She could be on her way to, to work as an editor at Double Day or out to lunch. Jackie loved being on the boat and this look epitomizes many scenes of her out on the water. The true nautical look of the simple pieces fitted her from her time with JFK all the way through to when she was married to Aristotle Onassis. She has some dark belt here. I don't have a similar one, but I do have a silver belt. Once again, Jackie has inspired this look, but I have adapted it to what I have. The simplicity of this top paired with the white jeans shows how effortless her style was. This was taken over 50 years ago, but this outfit would still work today. I don't have a white polo neck, but I do have a beige glitter one. I have a pair of white jeans. I would wear heels with my outfit. I would also include a metallic belt in my outfit. Here goes. 
I'm going to pair the jumper with white linen shorts. I would never have thought of this combination before, but this is what's so great about getting inspiration and looking into your own wardrobe to recreate the look. Jackie's everyday look that personifies her when she moved back to New York. This is what I remember of her during this time. I've already worn the black turtleneck, so I swapped it with the Breton top. So I sincerely hope that you enjoyed that tribute to Jacqueline Bouvier Kennedy Onassis and her style as much as I enjoyed putting it together for you. She really remains as such an icon, not just in terms of her style and her fashion sense, but just in terms of the role that she played at such a young age and her impact on history. She left us way too young. So I do hope that you will join me next week. We're going to be looking at Marilyn Monroe. Now, before you leave and you just say, oh, I won't be watching that, I would just want to leave you with one question. What is your understanding of Marilyn? Because as I did my research, I was actually surprised by her. She's not what I thought. So I do look forward to seeing you next week and we're going to be delving into the style of Marilyn Monroe.